All right, so this is now, uh, we, we're going to go back to the, this compact open topology. So more on the compact open topology. And in this video, I'm going to prove the adjunction. So, I, I, sorry, I'm going to prove that, um, I spoiled it. But um, I'm going to prove that uh, the compact open topology, uh, so, so that top of xy, um, uh, so I guess I, I guess I already I already have that it's a topological space, um, but I'm going to show that there's uh, uh, so the the goal in this this video here is to show that um, uh, so that top of uh, x cross t to y, okay. So that this thing is in bijection with, or this is homeomorphic to, top of x to top of uh, uh, xy. Uh, sorry, t xy. Okay, so there are, um, uh, and I don't think we're going to prove this entire thing, but um, uh, but these are both topological spaces. They're both. Uh, um, and okay, so, so they're both topological spaces, uh, and, and they're, they're homeomorphic topological spaces. And so uh, the the another, another point is that um, so that uh, this functor um, x cross blank and uh, top the functor represented by this. Are uh, are adjoint functors. Okay, so this um, this one here is the left adjoint of this one here, right? And so um, for people who who've seen tensor products, this should be reminiscent of of the fact that uh, uh, that HOM of vector spaces here um, is 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 uh, the left adjoint here is is a is a you know the tensor product construction. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, so so in, in, in this is for okay. This is in, I should say that this is for x uh, locally compact. Uh, let's say locally compact Hausdorff. All right. Oof, these markers. Okay, so um, uh, all right. So let's 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 uh, let's get into it. And I, I guess I should do the the definition here. So of what what locally com so local compactness means. Just kind of a review. All right. So x is lo So here's the definition. So x is locally compact. Right, if and only if, well, for all x and x, uh, there exists a U open and a K containing x compact uh, with, the, with the following, um, that K contains U and this contains uh, uh, x. Okay, so this is what it means to be locally compact. So we can prove stronger things when it's Hausdorff, which is what I'm going to do. And I think um, I was given the advice to, to always just kind of make this Hausdorff assumption, and it'll make our life a lot easier. So, um, uh, and, um, and, and, and let's do this. So here's the fact that I'm going to use, is that if x is Hausdorff, Right, uh, then uh, x is locally compact uh, if and only if uh, we have something way better, right? So, uh, so we have for all x and x, uh, there in all u in x, uh, there exists some k, so this is open. 
So there exists some K uh, compact uh, with non-empty interior. Uh, such that the following holds. Uh, X is in here, this is contained in K, and this is contained in U. Uh, and, and, the, and these form a basis for, so, okay, so that's, that's true. And moreover, uh, these little guys here, uh, these form a basis Uh, a local basis uh, for the topology, meaning that around uh, a neighborhood, right, these will be a, a, a basis of, of neighborhoods. Um, all right. So this is this is the fact that we're going to use is that we can use we can make this stronger statement that uh, around every point we can find a compact set with the non-empty interior. So we can find these special open sets whose closure. Are, the, are these compact sets. Okay, so, um, all right, so let's, let's uh, let, me, let me kind of define the maps between these and then, um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make a theorem. So, um, so what is the map here? So, so, so this description of the maps. Uh, of, and I'm going to call this the adjunction. Okay, so given um, uh, a map here, uh, so x cross t to y, so this is continuous, right? So what we get to do is we get to um, uh, we get to associate uh, two, two things, right? One is we get to associate these f of t's, right, from x to y, where uh, f t of x, so this thing is defined to be equal to f of x t, okay? And then we also get to define, uh, so this f hat, right, which is a map from t to um, this, the, the, the mapping space, right? And what this does is it takes T this is F of T. Okay, so this is the map. All right, so, um, so given one of these, we get one of these, and then given one of these, we can get one of, one, one of the, the, these ones back here. Okay, so um, the, the, the theorem that I want to, so I, I'm just going to state this as a theorem now. So the theorem is that, um, uh, so uh, this thing here, this x cross t to y is continuous if and only if two things hold, one, Okay, so this is the description of the adjunction here. Okay, uh, two things hold. Uh, so for all t in t, f of t is continuous. And the second thing is that um, uh, f hat of t. So this thing is continuous. Okay, so uh, we have so continuity of, of this is equivalent to continuity of uh, these two pieces, okay? One is the, the, the set of maps parameterized by T, and one is um, the, uh, these, these slices, okay? So let's prove uh, one direction, all right? So, uh, so what we're going to just, we're just going to write, we're going to use the, the composition of continuous maps is continuous. Okay, so let's kind of decompose this thing. So x cross t, right? This is the same thing as, well, let's write it like this. Uh, x cross maps from x to y, and then this goes to y. 
Oh, did I not show that the evaluation map is continuous? Ooh, I need to back up. Um, so, okay. So, uh, I need a lemma, right? Um, so, okay. I, I'll show you that the, this evaluation map is continuous, but, um, uh, okay. So, so, there's an IOU is that... Right, is that this map here, or cross x to y, this evaluation map is continuous. Okay, so, um, all right, so I need to describe this map too. All right, so the idea is that, uh, uh, so here, this is the evaluation map, right? And what it does is it takes um, uh, x and then a map here, and then it maps it to, well, f of x, okay? So we have this evaluation map, and then this map is really the identity cross uh, f hat, okay? And then the composition of these two things is f. So we break down f in, in the following way, right? So we take an x and t, so we, we map it to x and the slice, and then, um, so this is this this is goes to f subscript t, and then we evaluate, right? And then we get f subscript t of x, right? And f subscript t of x is just this thing, okay? And um, and, and so what are our assumptions in this theorem? So our assumptions are um, uh, oh here they're they're on this page. So the assumptions are. One, that this thing is continuous, okay? And then uh, 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 two, that, um, oh, excuse me, uh, that, uh, that this, well, these, these, this is also continuous, okay? So, um, okay, so, so this map is, so we're just going to do that the composition of continuous maps is continuous. So by this lemma that, that I owe you, right? This thing is, is continuous over here, okay? By, um, uh, and so, so, so now, now we're gonna use the other ones. So by the first number here, um, uh, this, this map is well-defined. So the first map Okay, it means that uh, this slicing thing actually gives you a continuous map, right? So that, that this thing actually lands in here and it's just not some crazy map of sets, okay? And, and then by two, right, this, uh, uh, this, this f hat is continuous. So it's not only defined, but, but the, uh, f hat is a continuous map. Um, and then we have a product of continuous maps, and that's continuous. So um, not only is it defined, but it's continuous when you consider the topology, the compact open topology here. So the topology of the mapping space. All right. All right. Now we're going to prove the other direction, which is the, the harder direction. All right. Okay. So now let's go this, do this other direction. Okay, so let's assume now uh, assume one and two. Oh, sorry. Uh, assume that uh, that's not what we're doing. We're assuming that uh, that this x cross t to y uh, is continuous. All right. So if we assume this. Uh, so what do we get? So we'll get one. So, so I need to prove one and I need to prove two. Okay. So one, uh, we get the following. So we have that X, right? This goes to X cross T uh, and this goes to Y. Okay. So there's, there's, there's a couple things that we can do. So this is kind of like the slice map, like for a fixed T, 
what I can do is I can send x to uh, x comma t naught. Okay, so it just goes and it, and it fixes the slice. And then what I can do is I can apply f. And if I do these two things, I just go to this slice and then I apply f, well, this is the map f of t naught. And so since the composition of map, uh, continuous maps is continuous, so, so continuous map composed with continuous map is continuous, so this implies that f of t naught is continuous uh, for all t naught and t. All right. Now uh, we need to show part two, so the proof of two. Okay, and um, and and so we're going to have uh, so so we need to show so we have this map here f hat, so there's this 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 uh, this map here which takes t and it maps it to a, 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 a continuous map between x and y, right? So it goes from t to f subscript t, and we call this map f hat. Okay, so we need to show that uh, f hat inverse of MKV is, is open. Okay, so that's what we need to show. All right, so let's, let's just kind of write out what this is. So F inverse, F hat inverse of MKV. All right, so this is one of these compact opens. So this thing is, well, it's the set of T's and T such that uh, well, f hat t, so this is in mkv. And this thing is just this f subscript t. All right, uh, okay, and so now we can write down the definition of what it means to be in this topology. Right, so this is f subscript t of k is contained in the open v. So we have this compact subset of x. In, in the open subset of y, and we have to have this is contained in here, okay? And this thing is equal to t and t of, and then we do a slice, so we do f of k cross t, like so. This thing needs to be contained in v, okay? And so we need to show this thing is open. So this is what we need to show is open. Uh, okay, so this is what we need to show is open. So the, the set of t's such that uh, this, uh, this thing here, uh, uh, where, where we take this slice here, is in v is open. Okay, so there's a lemma that we're going to prove to do this. So we're going to do a, a, a kind of a claim in the middle of the proof. Okay, so there exists some w in t open, and there exists some u contained in x that's open, right, uh, such that, well, k cross t uh, is, is a... Uh, uh, so this thing's contained in uh, u cross. So do we do, do x cross t or t cross that? x cross t. So uh, u cross w, and then this is going to be contained in f inverse of v. Okay, so this is the claim. Okay, and so once we have this, so note that that once we have this, uh, so uh, f inverse, f hat inverse of mkv, well, then this will, this will contain w, which is open, which contains uh, t, right? So, um, uh, so this is going to be the, this is going to be the, the uh, so this proves that this is open, right? Uh, sorry, element of. So this, this proves Openness. Okay, so um, all right. So let's 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 look at the, let's do the proof of the claim. All 
Okay, so um, so uh, so it's good, just going to use continuity and compactness. So so by continuity. So for all x and k, so there exists some here, uh, some u of x contained in x, and some w of x contained in t. So these are opens, where f inverse of v, uh, so this contains u of x cross w of x. Um, this is got because the inverse of an image of an open set is open, okay? And these are open sets uh, in the product topology. Okay, so by, uh, okay, so this is, this is what we have, all right? Now we're going to use compactness, right? And this is a cover, right? So if we vary x, right, um, uh, uh, so it, we're going to use compactness of k, okay, so by compactness, Okay, so by compactness, k is contained in um, u of x1 union u of xn. And we'll define this thing to be u. So this is going to be the u from, from the, the theorem. Okay? And then uh, similarly, we'll, we'll, similarly, we take uh, uh, so we take w uh, to be the union of these, W of Xn, okay? And, um, uh, and then this, this works, right? So, um, and, and here's kind of the picture of what's going on. All right, so... Um, so here's T, right? And then here's K cross T. And what we've done is we've covered this by uh, open sets. So like here's one open, right? And then here's another open. Okay, and so this one is like U of X2 cross uh, uh, w of x2, okay? And then this thing is u of x1 cross w of x1, okay? So this is this set here, and then this one is kind of like this interval here. So this thing is this interval, and then this one is this interval, all right? And, um, uh, okay, so what we've done is we've, we've, uh, uh, we've shown that, uh, uh, so we've shown that th we've used continuity of F, right, to show that uh, every point is contained in some open neighborhood, and then we use compactness to, um, to uh, whittle this down to uh, a finite number of, of, the, of sets of this form, okay? And, uh, and then this, this allows us to prove uh, this, this lemma. So I guess it's not, it's not very much, okay? And then, um, and then what we do is we just take this, this W part, and this W is, is going to be contained in, in uh, the, the uh, uh, MKV, right? All right. And uh, that's all I have to, that, oh, so that's, oh, oh, we're not done. Okay, because uh, I, I have an IOU. All right, we're not done. Okay, so that, uh, that what did we just prove? So we proved, um, assuming... So maybe I'll take a little pause, and then I'll, and then I'll do the IOU. So um, uh, we proved, assuming the, uh, the IOU, that uh, continuity of a map from the product is equivalent to the slice being uh, continuous and this map to the mapping space being continuous. All right.